what's up guys this is me again let's be start our seventh class in this class i'm going to discuss about how these uh softwares like bridge link and ucom bridge and the f2 bridge uh, software works so i'm going to prove you how you can take the same approach and take the same results without having the software for any reasons that I don't know much of them, but you can, for example, install the software. You don't have a computer at home or whatever. You can do the same analysis by understanding how the software works and its workflow for finding specifically the bending moments and the shear stresses due to the truck load and the lane load so let's begin so in the first hand you have to understand that you can uh, analysis for one truck over the bridge or if you have a motor span bridge i'm just using one span here just to exemplify for you but you can have this situation in a bridge uh, made of two or more span so you have to understand that you have to put two load trucks off the bridge space it between uh, a space of 50 feet between them and they are going the opposite side okay this one is going to the left and this one is going to the right so they've got three axles as we saw in the ashto load and resistance factor approach you can have this situation here so i'm going to set it into the bridge link software and we are going to take the results and analyze them in order to understand how the bridge link the amazing software that we are using here can help us to understand what's going on over the bridge all right so this is my bridge over the bridge link software i've got here three spans one is 120 feet the middle or the interior span is made of uh, 130 feet long and exterior one the last one it's the same as the first one all right so we got in the end of the day a span total span or a bridge made of a structure of 370 uh, feet long all right this is our four girders all right this is our barriers you have saw in the last class so I'm asking for the software to bring me the results for a interior girder. I'm using a approach for the second girder. So this is, oh, I forgot one thing here. I set for my library. I put here on my library of uh, vehicular live load. I created two more uh situations for the bridge to, to carry loads all right i created here a dual load truck called adel royal that's my name and uh within it i set the dual truck situation all right one going in one direction and the other one going the opposite direction so this is uh the these are the loads for the axles eight 32 32 and 32 32 8 these are the distance between them all right so uh, a lane load i put here uh 0.64 kips per feet for my load lane and the software already knows that it has to uh, set the impact factor only for the load track all right so when I get the results of this situation, I'm going to have also a analysis for a dual load truck working over the bridge. All right. So I ask here a analysis 
for the girder B. Let's go down here. You can see here, guys, uh, my results for my library where I can hear a dual LUT truck for the engineer that asked for another analysis, a further analysis in order to get all the situations that can work over the bridge and you cannot be surprised by any case here. You have to think about all the situations that is going to have happen over the, the bridge, all right? So in this table, I can see the points 12, 24, 36, 48, 60 for uh, bending moment and for shear here, all right? And the software put showed me how are the axles going over the, the bridge, all right? The points, the exact points. Since I'm analyzing the first point here of 12 feet from the left side of the left support, uh, these are the points that you get when you want to analyze. Why is that we can not see the first axle, the front axle of the truck? Because when I analyze this point here, since the space between axles is 14 it's already out of the bridge so this is why it, it's not showing here all right the software take this deeper analysis for you too all right so from uh, the second point 24 feet i can see the two trucks of the bridge all right so when i take this point i can see the front axle of the first truck it is in the 10 feet position the middle axis is exactly over the second point at 24 feet all right plus 14 the distance between axles i've got the third point or the rear axle of the first truck 38 plus 50 we got 88 this is the space between trucks all right and the uh, 18 88 plus 14 you got uh the middle axle of the second truck here and the front axle for the second truck is at this point all right so when i analyze the point of the sec the middle x ax axle for the first truck this is the effort that I'm going to find in the end of the day. All right. So we have to find this number 2,771 bit skip. All right. So let's go to app to software where I put the situation. This is the load line. No secrets here. A distributed load over the whole bridge made of a load of uh, 0.64 hips per feet and the HL93, a duo LUT truck for this analysis. And you can see that I got here an roller for the interior support. This one and this one won't allow to go to show up any negative moment over this spear and this spear here. All right. So let's run the analysis for the HL93 truck. I put here the impact factor that we already know. We don't have to forget it. These are the points of my dual load truck. All right. So let's run. Here are the results. For example, I want to analyze my bending moment for the first point since my first span here has a length of 120 a tenth of this number is 12 so at 12 i've got any fourth of this but i want to analyze also any other point for example if i want to see the efforts here at the 
second point 24 feet away from the left support of our bridge we've got this number for Benny moments all right so let's use our calculator here I'm going to take uh, the measure of uh, the second point here 24 I've got for the load truck 2034 let's put it 2034 plus the load truck the load lane we got 7371 737 dot sorry dot one we have to find at the point uh 24 feet from the left side a moment of 2771.1 keeps feet let's see in our uh, bridge link software and it works exactly here at the point 24 feet i've got a benny moment of 2771.65 man it works you can do it manually by using the calculator you can use a bridge link you can use f2 you can use the qcom bridge it's a software that i'm going to discuss later on this course but can you see the magic here working for you guys let's see another point at 36 in the f2 i've got nine sorry for my agile truck at 36 two four nine five let's put it on our here the memory so let's see two oh nine five dot seven plus a load lane let's see it here nine six seven dot five nine six seven dot five return we've got to find at the point 36 feet from the left side of our support a benny moment of this amount here let's see it in the bridge link software ah uh, man it works see it exactly 3463 feet skip amazing so you can see the results for so it's showing that when i can analyze any point of the bridge so i'm putting a dual truck over a motor spam bridge and see the efforts at any point using as a analyzing point the middle axle of my truck all right so this is how it works you can also see the results only for a a single load truck and you can also see the results for here you got the results for a single load truck plus a load lane or and also uh, set it in the software the bridge link in order to see the case of a dual load truck over your bridge the force that shows up so it is amazing how it works man i want to show you guys also an idea of the functionality of this amazing brazilian software or structural analysis that is the envelope of uh our loads see i can uh click at any point of my bridge so the software shows my influence line my envelopes for that composition of dual load truck all right so you can see the quantities for this triangular results for my influence lines you can also see for the load lane see it click at any point and see it's good for you to teach uh, the behavior of a bridge or of any structure all right so this is amazing 
I use it, it a lot in, in all my classes and uh, students can see if they get wrong results, see the right results here. All right. So guys, this is amazing to be here with you one more time. I hope you have enjoyed this class. Uh, if you have any comment, any doubt, any suggestion for my approach for me to get better, better I, at my classes, at my designing, I am open for you guys. I hope you hope see you again in the next class. See you next time. Thank you.